Hey guys, I wanted to do a uh, video on how to install Sanjima 13 on the LG G3. I know I've been doing videos on kernel settings for this device for a while now, but I'm pretty sure the, you'll, the, la the previous video, the video before this, will explain why. So. Yeah, but I also wanted to just do a video on how to install CM13 on here in the in the process of doing that. So right now I'm just back backing the system up. So let me show you what files that you need. Okay, let me put the camera down. Here you go. First, you need. I'll put the links. I'll put the link to everything down below. So, yeah. Okay. So my phone's almost done. Okay. Now, time to just shut it off so I can get a flash drive. Okay. 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 First, you want to go to this directory. But that'll be in the link below, so you'll know how to get to it. Now just download the latest version of the ROM. Put that in your downloads folder. And now you. Th this will also be in the uh, application. This will also be in the uh, um the link below. So yeah. There's another optional step, but this for a kernel. But I, you can go through whichever version you want. I'm going with a Pico. Pretty sure. Okay, I'll go with that. Okay. So yeah, and now they are downloading. And time to get to the flash drive. Okay. Okay, here's how I want you to set your flash drive up. I want you to make a folder called dot zips dot zips and dot apks you could just name it dot zips um you can put your spare folders your spare files like uh this you'll need this if you want to use trickster mod it'll be in my kernel settings pack that'll also be in the in the uh, link down below and to the kernel if you want it um your g apps your kernels and your roms basically all you want to do is you want to after you download your files, okay, they are right there. Okay, I have my files right here, my ROM and my G apps. Just drag them to the corresponding folder. And just wait for them to transfer. Yeah, these little razor blade, sand disc blades, whatever they're called, aren't very good in the write speed, but they're amazing in the uh, read, like copying things from or actually reading files from it. Okay. Okay, so I was, waiting, I was trying to see if someone had replied to my Reddit post. 
about the issue that was in the previous um, video. Okay, now that everything is copied, you want to take your device, you want to take your flash drive, you want to make sure you have one of these. It's an OTG, all on the go, on the go cable. It's basically a micro USB to a, a female USB, a male, male micro USB to a female full size USB. Let me put the camera down so I can show you how to do this next step. Okay, just plug that in, like so. Take your device, plug it in. And to get into uh, recovery mode, like twerp, you want to hold volume down and power. So hold that. Wait for it. Hmm. Let me take the phone out of the case so I can pull the battery so it can get a full shutdown or whatever. And I can also access the buttons easier. Okay, hold down the volume down and power. Keep holding until you see the white screen. Okay. Now push the volume down and volume up to navigate. Go to factory data reset push the power button and if you've done it correctly with the uh, rooting and installing the uh, uh, recovery through the stock ROM and having root and all that with the flash of fire or whatever you will it will uh, go into twerp and if you didn't do it correctly you know what's gonna happen just push and then say yes and then what it will do is getting to twerp. Now take the flash drive since I had to unplug it. Plug it in. Oh wait, first I want you to just to be safe because you never want to wipe your data with that thing plugged in because you might accidentally wipe it. So now go to wipe, advanced wipe, and just click on all those and then say Swipe to wipe. Okay. Okay, I'm assuming that it probably... Yes. External SD and internal SD. But to make another, make sure you... Uh, do a full wipe you want to do uh, you want to click on format data say yes okay now go home and just say and plug in your flash drive go to install go to click on that go to your zips ROM Here, this is the order that you should be installing because it's the proper order. So, hmm. Wait. Sorry. ROMs. I guess I put the my raw my G apps inside the kernel folder on accident.
to. Okay, there you go. And the, if you get the if you get any red lines, you'll you'd mean it means something went wrong. But if it went perfectly without you have and it didn't give you any red lines, and you can put you can <coughs> once you whenever it finishes, like with the change log and everything, you can say reboot system. And if it did it correctly, you will get this if you use the kernel, but you will get that if you did everything correctly. Though there's another step where it re rebuilds the applications. So. Okay, and then you'll get this. And after you get to the, uh, after that's done, I will not be recording that. Because it'll take a bit. Maybe. But, once you get past that, it'll ask you to just go through the login process, and there you go. You'll have signed your mod 13 on your, on your LG G3. Basically turning your neck, turning your LG into a Nexus. but better because you have an SD card and removable battery please like if you enjoyed the video and share it to anyone that you want to share it to to help them and also um, comment down below if you like my video and or you're having issues or you need help also uh, subscribe for more Android or any kind of random tech content so soon I will be doing some videos on my gaming PC or over there right now it's just a carcass but I'll be doing some part some work on it soon rebuilding it so yeah thanks for watching